so we, then we have Arteria Iliaca Externa, which has three main branches, which are Arteria Circumflexa Ilium Profunda, Arteria Femoralis, Arteria Profunda Femoris, Arteria Circumflexa Ilium Profunda, profunda has a uh, um, ramus cranialis and ramus caudalis and then uh, arteria femoralis has the arteria circumflexa femoris lateralis and then often originating from the same place is the arteria femoris cranialis but not always the case and then we have arteria cephala cephana cephana arteria cephina arteria cephina and then um, arteria nutritio femoris, arteria genu descendens, and then all these little ones make up arteria um, fem femoralis caudalis, and then the final continuation is arteria popliteia, and that is ar arteria femora fe femoralis. Okay. And then we have <laughs> arteria. Femoris um, profunda, which has arteria profunda femoris, which has um, arteria truncus pudendi epigastricus, which has three main branches um, uh, arteria epigastricus externa, arteria epigastricus caudalis, arteria pudendi externa and arteria abdominalis caudalis. Um, femoris, profunda femoris continues to arteria circumflexa femoris mediana, which has rami muscularis, all these. And then we continue to, uh, the main continuation is the rami obturatorius.